What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day And don't forget to stop by CMP Kits, get yourself drums that slap, get yourself Fear Volume 1 Get some ski mask samples, get them and get them now And don't forget to go to your Spotify app, follow the Spicy Sundays Podcast, get all the back catalog, over 71 episodes of the hottest of the hot takes now today we are not going to be using fl studio we are not going to be looking at something that could work in live we are going to be going deep into the mpc software that's right i'm going to be showing you real quick how to do a drag and drop workflow now if you are if you're using um uh, the the MPC with the controller or if you're just using the software with a third party controller or like uh, I, I, I noticed I noticed a few of you guys in the comments um, the for, for my last video were saying that you use like the MPDs and stuff like that or you use the uh, um, the um, the keyboard based controllers for, from Akai right uh, this this covers everything this is a this is a software tutorial right because you're not going to be able to do a lot of, you're not gonna be able to do this in standalone um so what i have here is i have a two sequence track right i've got this sequence yeah get some volume on it okay So when I get to a point like this where I've got um, where I've got two sequences that I like and I want to be able to take it a step further, do some arrangement, do some mixing. It's time to um, get out of the MPC software and go into a more linear DAW, because for me personally, that's where it's easier for me to think along those lines. So I'll use Studio One um, and the way that the way that i prefer to work with things like the mpc is that i will use the mpc software on its own like i you know i go to my dock and i open up the mpc i understand that it is more than possible to open up a daw and open this as a plugin but i like to be able to use because i use an mpc live i like to be able to use the transport controls um and have them uh, sync with with the project and not have any issues right so that's that's how i hook that up um and that's the reason why why i work like this so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to go to your first sequence and you want to go to your track that has the drums right so i have three tracks on this track one is the sample track three is the bass line and track two is going to be the drums now I want to drag and drop this out of um, the stems out of the MPC and into Studio One. Now you don't have to you don't have to do anything special. I've just got an empty project open inside Studio One, uh, and and I have and I have the MPC software opened up. And this is again this is not opened up in. Um, as a VST, this is this is completely standalone, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, I want to go to file, and I want to go to edit, and I want to go down to track, right? So, and when I go to edit track, I want to go to explode, and what explode is going to do when I look at my tracks now is I've got is I've got um I've got three new tracks, right? And these three new tracks are my kick, you know, are my kick snare. You see, you see how the MIDI disappeared. So now in order to drag and drop, all I have to do is click this where it says export audio. And then I just, I just drag and drop, right? So I got that one. Let me go to, let me go to my next track. I go to my snare. Boom. Right. And then let me go to my kick. Now for the sample, 
the sample we uh, that which is on track one we don't want to explode this because that would that would put each one of these pads on a separate uh track and that's not what we want we just want uh the chop that we wound up playing so i'll go ahead and do that boom now for sequence two i'm going to go and grab this guy right here throw him over there okay and go back to go back to sequence one let me go to number three is the base right so let's go here now if you see on sequence two our drums are still on our star are still on this one channel like this right so again if you, uh, it's it's only going to explode the track per sequence so again we want to go to edit and, and and we're going to edit our track right so that's what we want we want to go to edit sub menu track then go to explode boom now we're going to have those tracks set up here right just keep the organization the same snare And this one we added a symbol, hi hat. Okay, so now once so now once I got that, I can I can close this, save it, you know, save this project that way I can pull it up later if need be if I want to add to it in the in the um in the workflow and what what MPC is gonna do they're gonna they're gonna add uh, just a little bit of uh, a little bit of space um after actually no let me make sure I get the right tempo this is. I think this is a 93.60 or something. Shoot. Where is it at? Where are you at though? All right, so this is a 93.17. All right, 93 point. I forget all my MPC beats. I do, <clears throat> I do, like I don't perfectly time stretch them. So you definitely want to make sure that you got your, that you got your tempo correct. Boom, so now we could do this. Cut off the, cut off the excess that MPC left us. Sometimes it's good for like something like this sample. It catches the release. That's nice. So now I could go duplicate this out and we listen to it. Whoa. Bring this guy back in here. And then you don't have to worry about being uncomfortable with how you arrange beats inside of, you know, inside the MPC if you don't like song mode. It's very simple to bring your stuff back in here. You know, you can add your compression. You could go ahead and take advantage of the melody hacks that, uh, uh, you know, that Studio One has. You know, now I can go and see, like, oh, okay. Um, you know, here's, here's my sample loop. Let me, um, 
right? Is this a sample loop? Yeah, so I have my sample loop. So let me go ahead and drag that up to to my chord track. It's going to show me the chords that are that are being played. So I could go ahead and, you know, add a VST and play along with these notes. And I know I'll be in key. Um, you know, just take your creativity further, man. But, you know, MPC strength is doing the drums, chopping the samples, um, having the having the different scene change workflows to get yourself something that has a vibe and a feel like this. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to use the strengths of your DAW to take it even a step further, super simple to do drag and drop. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, studio12tutorials.com, cmpkits.com. Keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we'll see you on the next one, fam.